Doug, this is Ed Sherman on the right. Doug Pearson on the left. In the hot shield, mask and goggles. But it's pretty crappy out here, the conditions. And uh, we have so many fi uh, spot fires burning everywhere. We really don't know where the center of this thing is at the moment. So we're staging with these other city units and uh, just kind of monitoring the situation to see where we're all gonna deploy, see what's next for us. So we're just getting the day started out here. Winds are picking up as you can see in here. And uh, as the heat really, really uh, intensifies here, uh, no doubt we'll be seeing some action pretty soon, don't you think? Yeah, it's important to mention here that uh, today would otherwise be not only a sunny day, but a sunny, clear day. And right now, as you can tell, the sun is significantly obscured by the amount of smoke that's blowing the wind. It's very poor air quality, and they've told people with the health concerns to try to stay away from this area if possible, because as you can see, the air quality is uh, very, very bad. Okay, I've decided to follow my own advice that we tout on the show, and I'm donning the appropriate I've um, already had all my brush gear on. Uh, when I got here, I got my radios, helmet, but now I got my goggles, I got my hot shield and, uh, and, and hood and, and gloves with me, so it starts getting a little more messy down here. I'm going to put the goggles and everything on. Uh, just a lot of debris and soot flying through the air. Uh, real, uh, real crummy condition for, for uh, your eyes and your breathing here, so I'm going to start putting all that stuff on and, uh, and protect myself a little better. Well, we're heading for this bridge over here, and there's a caution tape, and you can see why. It's a bit of a hazard hanging over the road there. Freeway is also closed. You never see that little uh, traffic on the LA freeway. But you can see the middle of the day, it's uh, 11 a.m., and these are the conditions just from the smoke and all the debris in the air. Uh, okay, well we're on a street called Aspen. We're at Willow Tree in Aspen in your Belinda. Ed and I are walking up to a, a, another neighborhood here. It's a small, small cul-de-sac at the end of which uh, one or two single-family dwellings are fully involved. Let me turn the camera around and you'll see what I'm seeing. That's Ed in front of me on the left. Okay, yeah, we have one, full, one structure going over here. This is the situation in Orange County right now. Situations like this where the resources are so depleted, a lot of times we end up helping uh, because they just need the help. The job's got to be done. At some point we put the camera down and we help out. line burning on the side of this house. We'll keep an eye on that. That's a definite hazard. As long as it's venting, as long as it's burning, we should be all right. It doesn't appear to be a tank anywhere. Okay, enough video. I'm going to go back and shoot some stills for now. Okay, we're moving up San Antonio here. We've got a report that uh, there's a canyon fully involved up at the top here, and their aircraft are doing water drops. Okay, Ken, uh, we're coming up San Antonio, where are you? It's pretty dark up here. Visibility is very poor. Actually see a little clear air up there. But over to the right, 
not so much. That's where we're going. It's hard to remember that it's actually daylight. Yeah, no kidding. That orange glow you see is not the sun. That orange glow is fire. Safe guys. Here comes the lead plane again. She's going. I assume to her house. I don't think she's going to get there. You can see all the apparatus that's arrived. Obviously, they've decided to make a stand on this street. They are here for structure protection. They're running hand lines to protect these houses. They are in imminent danger. If these houses go, then these houses go, and the ones behind them go. So this is where staff has decided they're going to make a stand so they've lined the street with apparatus. Visibility is loaded to the smoke which is why you can't see a lot of them but they're scattered uh, intermittently up and down the street here.